the last two videos, we saw how to batch meshes to reduce the number of draw calls and how to do texture atlasing. In this video, we'll see how to do automatic texture atlasing first, an issue related to atlasing textures with different channels and the final output after applying the textures from the generated texture atlas. So how can we do automatic texture atlasing? I have a set of textures here to explain it. We'll be pushing these textures to a 4K texture atlas and then later fetch a particular texture from that atlas using the texture ID. To place the textures automatically, we first need to create slot areas in the atlas. The slot size should be equal to the smallest texture size. So in this case, it will be 256 x 256. Since we have a 4K texture atlas, the number of horizontal and vertical slots will be 15 and 8 respectively. Each slot here should have a parameter to store its ID. The X position, which in this case will vary from 0 to 14. Y position, which will vary from 0 to 7. Rect to store the area which the slot will occupy in atlas space. A parameter to check if the slot is vacant. And a parameter to store if the slot has already been checked. Let's see what values should be set for each of the slot parameters for slot with index ID 0. X and Y position will be 0 and 0 as well. And the rect will be 0, 0, 256, 256. Let us see another example now. The slot values for slot with ID 1 will be x equal to 1, y equal to 0 and the rect values will be 256, 0, 256, 256. We will move forward with the placement of textures now. There are a few rules we'll have to follow for that. A texture obviously needs to be picked first. Then we need to find the next weekend slot. Then we check if the pick texture can fit in that weekend slot or not. If it fits, the texture will be placed and the next texture will be picked for placement. If not, We'll check if there are any neighboring vacant slots and if the vacant slots combined have the space for texture placement or not. If they have space, the texture will be placed and the next texture will be picked for placement. If not, the next vacant slot will have to be searched. After picking a texture, if none of the other conditions satisfy, it means there is no space in the current texture atlas for the picked texture. In that case, we'll have to create another texture atlas and the same process should be repeated. With that in mind, let's proceed with the placement of these textures. We'll pick this texture and then search for the next vacant slot. We'll get slot with ID 0 as the next vacant slot in this case, since all the slots currently are vacant. We should now check if the texture can fit in this slot or not. It will not, so condition 2 doesn't satisfy. In this case, we'll check if there are any vacant neighboring slots and if the texture can fit in the area after combining those neighboring slots. The immediate neighboring slots with ID 2, 15 and 16 are vacant and after combining those, the pick texture can fit in the combined area. We'll place this texture 
in the combined area and we'll pick the next texture now the placement of this texture is very similar to the last one since it is of the same size so let me quickly place this one let us see the placement of this texture in detail since we'll have to check some non immediate neighboring slots to make this texture fit on searching for the next vacant slot we'll get a slot with id 4 let's try to place it and we can clearly see that the texture is not going to fit in this slot alone now this is where we'll have to search for the non immediate slots as well to do that we'll have to first find the number of required horizontal and vertical slots to make the texture fit on dividing the width of the texture by slot width and height of the texture by slot height we can find the number of required horizontal and vertical slots we can easily check for the neighboring vacant slots by running a double for loop let us see how the code for doing this looks like here i am calculating the number of required horizontal and vertical slots and then i have a double for loop to check the required neighboring slots add neighbor slot function here helps us to store a pair of neighboring slots for the current slot in texture helper header i have this structure named slot bundle which stores the current slot its neighboring slots the texture which will be placed in the combined area and the rect or area in atlas space i'll be sharing the code in description this time so you can see it in more detail coming back to the neighboring slot searching part after running those for loops we'll find that slots with the following ids are the neighboring slots which can be combined and the third texture from the list will be placed in the atlas the fourth texture can easily be placed at slot with id 8 and since it is of the same size as the slot it wouldn't need any neighboring slots to explain about the next topic let me first pull the atlas to the center in the atlasing video we saw how add texture to atlas function works last time we were atlasing all the textures with the same channel but this time we have this embedded texture for the monk model which has a different channel let us observe what was happening in the old code while copying the texel data for each texture in atlas memory the texture channels for the atlas were four and all the textures previously had the same number of channels so while copying the last texel of the first texture and the first texel of the second texture in atlas the texel arrangement in atlas texture memory would have been something like this the texel channels for the first texture's texel are shown in green and the texel channels for the second texture's texel are shown in cyan notice that all the texel channel brackets for the first and second texel are filled in the new code we know that all the textures are not having the same number of channels so what happens when we have one texture with three channels and the other one with four in this case the texel arrangement in atlas texture memory would be something like this we can see that this alpha channel from the first texel is blank this is because we are trying to create a texture atlas of four channels and it is expecting all the texels from all the textures to have four channels 
but the texels from the first texture have only R, G and B channels. Now if we try to atlas the textures with the old add texture to atlas function, we will see this assertion failed error. It is because of this line where it is trying to copy the missing Texel alpha channel to Atlas data. To fix this issue, I have modified the add texture to Atlas function and now it looks like this. Here, I am checking if the number of channels for the texture is 3 and then adding a padding for the alpha channel. This will help us in filling the missing alpha channel and maintain continuous Texel channel sequence for Atlas's texture memory. Now without delaying anymore, let me jump directly to the final output. I am again rendering 1,489 separate meshes as in the batching video. But this time we have textures on them as well. The draw calls before batching will be 1,489 and the frame rate before batching is 1.2. The application is pretty laggy right now and it is very hard to control the camera. Now before I click on enable batching checkbox, let me give you a quick recap on what it is supposed to do. After we click on enable batching checkbox, all the separate meshes should combine in one and create an atlas to combine all the textures. After that, the application will pick the respective textures for the meshes from the atlas. And this whole process will help us reduce the draw calls to one and have a much better performance. After batching and atlasing together, we are getting a consistent frame rate of 100 plus and the application runs with no lag at all. I've shared my framework code in description this time as you requested. Check it out and let me know if any clarifications are needed. I would be glad to help. Also please let me know if there is any topic you would like me to cover in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video guys and I'll be seeing you next time.